I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chelame City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Come here, still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. What's up with your Vovas box entree? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is booked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! You did it! Oh, thanks a million! Enjoy the celebration! Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Gather in the town square to hear his address. Step right up. Chalamet you can become City. part of Collective Bastion with a thought device, comrades. The pace of technological progress is breathtaking. No skies the Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? You are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. 
Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight, but it also allows the user to get used to wearing it on their head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Allow me to connect you. All right, then. Oh, that's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. Hey, you. Experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead, since you're so special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles, the chatting artificial librarian and educational system. <laughs> I'll call you whatever I feel like. Glove. So it's like augmented reality or something? I like it. One more game of battleship than that one. Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. Are they getting rid of the rain clouds to us? Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. I had my polymer treatment yesterday. Everything. What a great well, Let's just take the picture of the way we are. Can't wait to hear from Comrades. Comrades. Everyone here seems so happy and content, just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit, and I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. I still can't believe the stars can be so close. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean or get a doctorate in nuclear physics or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule.
just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. Hello, welcome to your future. Report to the lobby of that high rise. We stand on the bridge of the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. So glad to no, see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. Just look. The car is waiting. We must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. In the He's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, not to leave. Thanks to my adventure, you're I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. thoughts alone, and finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future, the neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together, uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind, mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed, accessing all human knowledge, and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communication. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So... What do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. 
one day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. That's one hell of a car. But it's still an internal combustion engine, right? Sure, it's a solid machine. Can't stop progress, though. They're turning out new models daily now. This one's a gas guzzler. Wait until they're all running on electricity. That would be something. It combines high Got that right. digital solutions with an elegant, eye-pleasing lid in a wide range of colors. You can find a thought device that matches your eye color, your favorite dress, or anything you like. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, I just came from one in of them. every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of Politics, robotic workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyors. How about some music? I see you've finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the Vidyanch and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelame Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky.
You can now observe the operations of an automated plant, performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, the Trove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Your Watch out! Now what am I supposed to do about for it? For your safety, what the? please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at Laboratory 8 of the Babylon Hospital Farm Facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. What the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Comrade Major, I'm falling. Shit. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Attention. This is an emergency communication. Killing me. Ugh. Repeat, do not interact with the robot. 
do not panic. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me, alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Sechenov out. Holy shit! Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Help! Somebody help me! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? Shit! Uh, get away from me! Uh, go fuck yourself! Get the fuck off me! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, ma'am. No ma sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! Uh, no good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, like that. I'll hold them off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Shit. Come to grips. 
granny. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me! You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. What a goddamn clusterfuck. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockholz. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences. Dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in... Hey, <sighs> who's there? They found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady. This is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! No, listen to me! Turn the handle and open the door! Machines rose from the ashes. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shh, I'm a shingle. Why didn't you tell me that before? At this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalokov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something.
you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through! Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade... Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not? Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. Watch it. Hi, Mihail. I just need to finish my work, and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Koltsov some tea. I'll be with you in a second. Okay? Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Telling me a handful of traitors somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traitors introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time. during which many more people will die, and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. Something's wrong. Oh shit! Get up, soldier. <sighs> Great. Just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great. Now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? 
What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. <clears throat> so what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! No! Avoid the beam! Where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock-picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. What the fuck? Fuck me! Oh, what a stud! I can't get enough. Jocks, let's tie you to the bed, baby. No need to fight back, sugar. Oh, you're gonna love this. Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open to suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator, quick. How titillating. Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys! I'm on fire! Closer! I can't reach her! I'm trying, I'm trying! She's one strong-ass bitch! I'm at your service, sugar! Anything for my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? Thrust it deep into my socket so I can make it sturdier and sharper. Nora can upgrade weapons and equipment, as well as manufacture new items from blueprints. To do this, Provide the repair vendor with the resources you will undoubtedly find as you rummage through the entire area. You can fill me with whatever you want, big guy. Insert your axe. I'll give you the time of your life. You're sick, you know that. Deeper? Again? Oh, yes, honey, more! More! Yes! 
But I can do so much more A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah, cool Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies And bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty I'll show you what real smut feels like Huh. Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Nikolai. Regular VOV A6s follow my orders and are always polite. But the black ones walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want and just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Get back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out about this. Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I can follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. such as yourself. Sometimes you just need to go in guns blazing. This was one of those times.
Ah, you found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep, but I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. They say Monday begins on Saturday. But I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, national polymerization is happening throughout the Soviet Union on Monday the 13th. And our executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand, not a bonus. Have a great weekend. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Call the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue.
There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. I supposed to restart the line there should be a control panel nearby there's the control panel and of course it's locked you guys just love these things don't you but this is a new one a combination lock ah it'd take me a year to guess the combo look around maybe someone has the code something's got to move anything comrades uh what was that schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have we frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope. Won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. with one another to produce a full-blown airborne... The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station master has it. Cultural zone. He didn't make it. Such a city as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. And everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. The clouds will be Moscow too. The brand new capital of our city. Gotta find the station master. I just wish I knew where he is. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. But talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolis. There it is. Not every oh, shit. Charles. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. This works. Speed them 
The cable car line is activated. We are ready to depart. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Nine. Sorry. Eight. No ticket. Seven. Six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Lexus Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive a time. Charles, that was a Barov, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. about the Burovs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Comrade? Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground and in a month you'll have a complete subway system or any sort of tunnel. Subways, hell! It's the moon that we're going to use them for, terraforming. So their top secret and their armor is tougher than a tank's. PTA plates, unmarked. Cutting edge science. Sorry, I gotta run. Sure, sure. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark-ass tunnels. 
That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Hey, this is my stop. What a nice trip. Laser wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. Just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no- All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes, yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall. Crap! That hurt! That thing packs a punch. Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burab. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to kill me. save yourself! Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning! Hey, freeze! Warning! Damn it! Right alert. Lockdown in progress.
He's pretty good at ordering those robots around. It's almost like they're his property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called a candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Attention all co-workers, please listen to this chirper and leave it where it is. Its purpose is to remind everyone not to take plant specimens home under any circumstances. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. Substances, ...including seemingly harmless ones. Flowers from the labs may have built-in genetic traits that will have a negative effect on your quality of life. If it's grown in a lab, it stays in a lab. Period. They're in the wall! Can you hear them? Scurrying around! I'm scared! I'm really scared of them! You've got nothing to be scared of. You're... dead. I know! Even back when I was alive, I saw dead people get up again. I don't want this to happen to me! I'm scared of them! I gotta keep moving. Keep your eyes peeled. They're even tormenting the dead! I've seen it! I've seen it! have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily, but the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. So, you think you're smarter than your bosses? No, you're twisting my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than them. But you said... No, I said that if I had the same opportunities and resources they do, I'd accomplish just as much as they have, if not more. Do you envy people like Sechenov, Lebedev, Filomonenko? <laughs> envy isn't really the right word. Envy is when you want what someone else has. I don't want what anyone else has. I want to be right there with them. I want to be their equal. And I'm not talking about their discretionary authority. I want us all to be genuinely equal. But that's enough. We've talked about this a hundred times and you still don't believe me. This is a waste of time. Guard, we're done here. Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nutcases, metallic or otherwise.
Yeah, that sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? It looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. What do we have here? This is the lunar. A kind of lock. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You eggheads sure love I've got one. The USSR's first major victory in its open-ended space exploration mission decided to be. It's a weird song, but I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radius waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine. What you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. Not that batshit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, Comrade Major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. There it is. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. I was a bad girl who struck up another disgusting freak. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. Do you like it, sugar? I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself. Hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. Where 
Where the hell is it? Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithms were still corrupted in a most hideous manner. That dirty son of a whore. The repair vendor is completely insane. He's got her saying all kinds of creepy sex shit and making goofy junk instead of decent weapons. And she kills people. Does that mean we'll have to go unarmed? Uh, anything's better than nothing, right? I'd rather take on a robot with a metal toilet brush than my bare hands. Will be considered an aggravating circumstance. Uh, done. I think it worked. Whew, this place is huge. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank. The heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Fading data. Access granted. Critters! They're most certainly crispy, Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Warning. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seed bank vault. Sample container integrity compromised.
Granted.
crime against the Communist Party and is punishable by capital punishment. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. Listen to me, you brainless mutt. Yes, Agent, this recording is for you. I can hear you banging around in the warehouse. You'll never take me live, so listen up. You have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> Who's the brainless mutt now, huh? According to biometric readings, this is Patrol. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. It really is Petrov. Ah, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, P3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, illuminating insects... In other words, four columns, four canisters... Shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. 
but the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. Sons of bitches. Hey! Hey! 
Can you finish me off, please? What the? J just wait for a medic, okay? What? <coughs> medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. And who knows when the rescue team are gonna be here. But I'm hurting right now. I'll never walk again anyway. Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. A lot. <coughs> She's lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. <laughs> harmless my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. think the canister might be a device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms ah, let's go find it Someone new to talk to, and a live one, too. New? Did someone else come here before me? Sure. See that dead body? That's Alexei, the technician. We've been having quite a conversation since they killed us. The thing is, about 20 minutes ago, the lights sort of went out of him. He did manage to say something right at the end. But it was complete gibberish. What do you mean, went out? Oh, I don't know. It kind of expired, so to speak. I think this must be how the vaccination's fault. Dead people being so chatty, I mean. Residual brain activity or something. What else could it be? Okay. So long. These canisters are used with polymer dispensers, Comrade Major. One could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully... specific.
submarines. We need to do something about the mushroom spores in the germination department. They sent us another robot. They said it was on the fritz. So we opened it up, and it's full of mushrooms on the inside. The whole thing is packed with mycelia. What is it about the robot's polymer environment that the mushrooms like so much? At this rate, we'll have mushroom techs instead of lab techs. You guys are smart, right? Come up with something. Canister detected. Synthesizing luminopolymer. Canister will be built in 35 days. 35? Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process... There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a sh Fading data. Authorization. Major need. There we go. Did you know there was a cable car here? I assume there must be a way to service the equipment hanging from the ceiling. Gotta be careful, it's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. Canister will be built in 20 days. It worked. Look at that pool glow. It's actually kind of pretty. Please note that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. lousy goddamn cable carcony faster no one foresaw this particular turn of events it was a rhetorical question
We just need to speed up the last motor. Well, at least I don't have to worry about ammo. Pleasant lights all around, Shayla's buzzing in the distance. How romantic. Comrade Major? Yes? Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry, it's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon, a hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. 
There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? That's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah. I guess so. Smoking-related issues have been especially intense since the war. And Comrade Stalin just added fuel to the fire by making pipes look stylish. Now we've ended up with an unhealthy nationwide addiction. I suggest introducing a special kind of tobacco to the market. It contains almost no nicotine and is completely free of harmful tar. And, most importantly, it gradually introduces an aversion to smoking. It's cheap to make and can easily replace ordinary tobacco. We could help two-thirds of Soviet smokers kick the habit in just five years. Saving data. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Saving data. Tree. It's glowing. It's beautiful. The preliminary power generation phase has begun. This place looks like no one's been here in a decade. It could be due to a malfunction in the gravitational modulation system, or excessive polymer fertilizer production.
I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high-temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Sorry, pal, but I just needed more. You get it, right? You're a machine, so I needed more. What's your lot in life? Serve humans, right? Well, I used to serve folks, too. I served in Kursk, and I served in Berlin. But I didn't do it just to get a fancy medal. I was fighting for equality, so everybody could have the same rights and responsibilities. So everybody could be like everybody else. Now, I just need to figure out how to put your damn thing on. Okay, I found the opening. The boiler's too hot to touch. I need uh, to... What do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? It's a good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. Okay, second one's all set. came up with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available.
Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of this homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. The canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. What's that supposed to mean? It's hot. You're hot, huh? <laughs> you ought to try going to the Urals and being a steel worker, even for half ships. That'd make a man of you, I tell you. But look at him. Instead, he's over there with his pretty flowers bitching about the heat. We crack tough. Don't give a goddamn about no heat. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. We'll hop right into an oven or a volcano at the drop of a hat. So don't come whimpering to me, Bob. Once the update collected, everything will be hunky-dory. And if someone starts bitching, they ain't worth shit. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. <laughs> What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague, Chariton Radionovich Zaharov, was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kinda cute. Power canister connected. There we go. Look at her bloom. What a beauty. Photosynthesis has begun. The tree's condition is improving rapidly. Attention. Distribution center employees. Access to the right wing of the complex is now available. It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, 
I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. Authorization, Major Nichayev. What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. Congratulations on your promotion, comrade Zolotukhin. Deputy Director of the Vavilov Complex is a very important position. Right now, our primary goal is to provide the Soviet people with sustenance, which requires great attention. But very, very soon, mankind's first steps into outer space will begin right here as well. As an outstanding botanist, you will be tasked with overseeing the creation of entire systems of plants designed to terraform the surfaces of other worlds. Comrade Sechinov and I had a talk earlier, and we're both delighted that you have joined our team. <laughs> you see, Vic, we do not just want to plant corn on the moon. We want to take a bite of a bigger apple on Mars. I've got a personal request for you, Vic. The Pavlov complex is in the middle of a big polymer study right now, and humdrum though it may seem, they're short of testing sites. Could you do me a favor and put a small department off in a remote wing somewhere? 
They just need to observe how animals behave in a polymer suit. It's top secret, of course, but just about everything in your complex is top secret, isn't it? Pavlov will start sending you the polymer in vats first. We'll build a pipeline just as soon as the Ministry of Finance approves it. Thank you in advance. Comrade Zalatuchin, my dear colleague, we haven't really had a chance to get acquainted yet, but I assure you, if you attend our theater under my guidance, you'll never forget the name Lastoshkin. I've got a little favor to ask you. Could you send us a few of those fascinating flowers of yours? The theater just isn't green enough, and it could use a little more exoticism if you catch my drift. A little bird told me you've got some creeping bushes now. I'd love to have a dozen of those to wow my VIPs with. I'll make it worth your while, of course. Sincerely yours, Stefan Lastoshkin. You'd say, finally, you cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at your workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing. But the way they slowly walked towards the humans, it was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-celled plant life to livestock and other animals. That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium.
Ugh, what a goddamn clusterfuck. Up. Who? Attention. Me? The computer mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. This is the proving ground for some of the most scientific experiments. At first, it was extremely difficult for me not to That evidence are submerged in the local solution in the region of spectrum anaerobic colony, so they can adapt to alternative sources of oxygen. When the lungs are filled with polymers, they can have a function of the this material to the source material critical to the operation. The complex is assessed, analyzed, and processed. The transported process is dropped in still by to their intended destination. Since its function immediately rises to finally finding other shores, details of its model ratios and conditions at which cells are kept. The stream to take place with special business privileges. I mean, I'm thinking about it. I probably, I probably. Sometimes I think it, when put to flash for reason, the convulsion themselves is from the kind of cancer death. After all, new things keep being born. You know the same old thing. I can't be wrong. I can't. I can't. I can't. Spinning. That should do the trick. I just kill all of them. It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. 
to undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. It's huge. I've never seen so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the Moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Comrades, follow your shift schedule carefully. An extra minute spent on Please select the desired procedure. Fill the canister. The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Shit! What's the matter with it? What am I supposed to do? The canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. Buddy, same old shit. Please respond. 
start the ventilation system. Don't say. Finally. Data saved. Attention, employees. Access to the pesticide workshop is now available. Babylon. The graduate students have come up with a new pastime. They're playing tic-tac-toe on the breeding beds. One of them plants corn and the other plants tomatoes. And they go back and forth like that. I was going to chew them out, but then I realized it's actually a decent little game. It's like a whole new kind of chess. What do you think about opening an agricultural gaming club? Previously convicted for slandering the Communist Party, has officially paid his debt to the motherland and is thus granted relief from forced labor at the complex. Let's get the hell out of here. I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Do you like it here, sugar? I find this facility so depressing. It sure is. Why? Is there a more cheerful place somewhere? Of course there is, handsome. Anywhere I can tie up disgusting, horny creeps will do for me. Ugh, you're seriously fucked in the head, lady. Oh, honey, it's the ones with tendrils sprouting out of their heads that are seriously fucked. Not me. So, you didn't like it here because there weren't enough people? There are never enough. I'm so bored. You are a breath of fresh air, handsome. Enter me hard and often. Oh, fuck. Fading data.
Well, well. How do you like that, gearhead? Did you hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So? What do you think? Crispy critters! Quiet, damn it! There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's... <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Are you off your nut? Is this some kind of joke? Shh, shh. You could... you could wake it up at any time. In two hours' time, when the pesticide reaches critical low, it'll wake up. Do you understand? I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA-400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? <sighs> Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA-400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, a container. Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow cylinder or we're screwed! Shit, that thing is huge. Why the hell would they make something like that? It was the unexpected result of a bold scientific experiment. You eggheads and your bold fucking experiments. Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. Fading data. Authorization made...
Please help me. You've got to plant seeds in me. Sorry, I... what? I know I'm dead. I don't want to be a useless corpse. My body could become soil for plants. My colleagues and I will leave a trace. We were working for the good of the Soviet Union. I definitely can't help you with that. Okay. Sorry, I, I gotta keep moving. Blow that motherfucker up! That's all? Are you there, boy? Okay, great. Anyway, entry number- This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here! Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed. Number three, May 10th. The hemlock has grown to an unprecedented size and continues to grow on a daily basis. Its behavior is becoming aggressive. Its stems have become vine-like growths, and I can fully confirm that the plant has developed something akin to vision and the ability to track its own food. Hmm. Where's that damn dog? Schnitzel. Schnitzel, here, boy. Fading data. Charles, this sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us.
another poor bastard. Picked the wrong hiding place. Quiet! There's a mutant nearby. You won't find us here. We should be safe. The lights went out. I hate to disappoint you, but a mutant got you. So they did kill me. I thought they did. How very sad. Only when I died did I realize I had never taken life too seriously. You never miss the water till the well runs dry. Such is life. How symbolic. I should have plundered this earlier. Hey, Charles, if I get killed, will I turn into a talking dead too? Will I just lay there in a corner mumbling half-intelligible bullshit? It's hard to say. On the one hand, you don't have any neuropolymer memory. On the other, your body has undergone a high degree of polymerization. So... yes or no? We lack the data to make the determination. There's only one way to find out. Uh, I think I'll pass. Now at six percent. We need to hurry. Crispy critters. I'm trying. is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? Okay with me. You first. Oh, sh shoot. Reduced. This, well, it explains how the plant feeds itself. By grabbing the food with its stems, for example. Just a second. What? What are you eating this time? Schnitzel! Drop it. Bad dog. Anyway. Uh, later. <laughs> What the fuck is taking you so long? Choke on your pesticides, fuck bag. That's it. Smoke break. Did you find the container? I'm out of PA 400. If we don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. 
We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one, yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in range! We gotta run before it... Hang on! God damn it! Oh fuck! My leg! You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, we're dead! Have you about aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! Fuck! No! no. Help me! Get it off me! Hang on, buddy. I'm coming. Oh, shit! The fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crud! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh-huh. Just like me and Petrov.
collecting data. Do you like our bush hot stuff? It is so adorable. What the hell are you rambling on about? What bush? The one you took the polymer canister from, handsome. You mean that overgrown hemlock plant? What's cute about it? I like the way it strangles people with its tendrils. They pop like bubble wrap. Oh, so cute. Say one more fucked up thing about killing people and I'll tear you a new one. No, you won't, big guy. Who's going to pleasure you if you do? Then I'll rip out your voice module to shut you up. Cholas will fix it. But I love it when you talk like that. Scold me. Yes, tell me off harshly. Shut up. Fading data. Charles, they didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Oh, what a pain in the ass. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. Cryopolymer canister connected. Great! The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Done. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. Well, are we ready now? Let's go. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well... Shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Ah, oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like, a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Fading data.
Chelas. What are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more Chelas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm, and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated, and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. Be careful. The enemy is on high alert. Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Other than the Terrish Cobras, as they operate autonomously and are not connected to the network. So the central hub infiltrated by Patrol does not have access to the Terrish Cobras. Uh, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks. For nothing. Shit, where do they keep coming from? A bumblebee robot is delivering them from a nearby factory. Damn it. The gate's been locked by the security system. We need to gain access. The only way to do this is by connecting to the security cameras. Unfortunately, I lack that ability. There's a special camera diagnostic system, CDS2 Valon. I can use one to connect to the cameras. That system might come in handy for stuff other than diagnostics. Hopefully there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, a device with that designation can be found in this village. Detecting its signal, use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. Can I get a 9 o'clock appointment, Nina? I'm gonna take a day off. Ludmilla got one of those amazing poly hairstyles for her wedding. Could you do that for me too? Pretty please? You know, the kind where it's one style in the morning and then it's different in the evening, and the color changes and everything. Everybody's gonna be there for the collective update. All our bosses and maybe even some foreigners. I don't wanna look all frumpy. Oh, and grab me some poly nail polish too, okay? I want my nails to change with my mood. Polymers sure are amazing for beauty stuff, huh? seems to have deployed a disproportionately large number of robots to this area for some reason. I recommend stealth. I'm already late to the VDNH. Sechenov said I needed to hurry. A frontal assault carries a high probability of death. I've seen security systems like this before, Charles. I can get around it.
was a pleasure serving with you, Major P3. Unfortunately, you are about to be killed. man. Will this device allow us to hack into the security system? Hacking into the system would be tricky. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. Where's the fire, Sonny? Granny? Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Xena, huh? Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your... Hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? They broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right, I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. Listen, Isaac. Toward the end of my shift, I started using light signals to talk to the guy in the lighthouse on the other side of the lake. See it over there? It's called an evil lighthouse. I figured he was lonely. I mean, I'm here at the station with a village full of nice people, plus Vavilov and all that. And they just brought him here from Sandlin, along with a lighthouse. How far away is that? 2,000 kilometers? Just imagine it. He used to live by the sea there, sending signals to ships. And now he's here. I mean, that's kind of sad, right? Anyway, I was wondering... Could you talk to him a little every now and then? Well, have a good shift.
you son of a bitch! Fucking bot almost killed me. Well, I'm here now, Sonny. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What the hell are you? <clears throat> Regarding Shush. the reports, your beloved Sechimov, son. I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry Corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! I am fully aware of- Are you? Our Atomic Heart Project My. is in jeopardy! My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else. And the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working Comrade class will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water? They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The Politburo has come to a decision. And I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. Hello, 
Please select the desired procedure. You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. You're a sharp old bird, Granny Xena. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Let's just say you're lucky I felt like looking after you. Why did you? What's special about me? I wanted to see if you're a real man or a pussy. Harsh. That's what it takes to get through a thick skull. How did you survive anyway? I didn't. I'm dead. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? What kind of stupid-ass question is that? I ought to grab my ladle and smack you on the head. I'm trained to survive, so that's what I did. How are you tracking Sachinov? Same way I track everybody else. Technology, Sonny. Let's just say I've got a fancy hut, you've got a fancy glove, and we don't ask each other where they came from. Deal? Fair enough. That's a weird pet you got there. What's so weird about her? I make some pretty special tea, I'll give you that. But this is just a plain old chicken. What? That's a joke. This is facility 3826. It's like the Emerald City. Haven't you ever seen a chip chicken before? Can't say I have. Actually, I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, go ahead and take a look. Anyway... I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box? Rings in a box? No, Granny Xena, I didn't see anything like that. I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. I really appreciate the help. Wait. You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? A little bird told me. Tell the Kraut things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. Charles. Who is this Granny Xena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So, what about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Nah, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. We've got a camera. Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system. Okay, let's open the gate. We're finally in the system. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right camera.
been detected by the enemy. More robots will arrive shortly.
sorry. Ah, we found the station, and the train is right there. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. Don't jinx it, Glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. There are bodies everywhere. I never saw the bots coming. No one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen it coming either. Robots pulled our country back from the edge of a cliff after the Brown Plague. A decade later, people believe civilian robots are dependable and helpful. It's a terrible shame. Five, five, zero, six, zero, seven. Got it. Please keep it down, will ya? This seems... Uh, I'm not in the mood to shoot the shit. There are no tickets! The window is closed! Jeez, keep it down, will ya? This seems to be an instance of residual polymer memory. It's logical to assume that it contains the victim's most vivid life experiences. I'm not so sure. It could be his last memory. A Soviet citizen could never be that obsessed with his job. What about the Communist Youth League? What about pioneers? Going to camp, stuff like that. His hopes and dreams, literature, history. Do you have a lot of cherished memories? <sighs> Whatever. You're just a computer program anyway. Transportation system. I need to get to the VDNH right away. It will be my pleasure, comrade. The current load of the train line is zero percent. You may depart immediately. Great, let's go. Assuming you have purchased a ticket. A, a ticket? A fucking ticket? Are you stupid? There are corpses everywhere. There's an emergency protocol in effect over the entire facility. Start the train right now. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. I do not detect any signs of pregnancy. Show me a note from the gynecologist. I'll show you signs of pregnancy, you piece of shit. If you have a mental disability, please present your disability certificate. That's it. You're fucked. Comrade Major, note that this particular Rafik is not an autonomous system. He is the high-speed train vortex. Destroying him will permanently disable the train. All right. Listen here, you lousy hunk of junk. 
Where do I get your fucking ticket? You may purchase it at the nearest ticket window. There are special discounts available for passengers traveling with children. Uh, what ticket window, you dumb shit? They're closed. Everyone's dead. Nobody's selling tickets. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. Cram it, you prick. I'll end up hoofing it all the way to the VDNH at this rate. A unique train? What makes it so special? Does it fly through the air or something? Thanks to the revolutionary maglev transportation system developed by Chalamet engineers, Vortex high-speed train can reach incredible speeds with no inconvenience to the passengers. An inextricable part of the neural network, Vortex independently adjusts its speed and schedule based on the number of passengers on trains and in waiting areas. Following the launch of Collective 2.0. Enough, I get it. I'm almost out of time. Fine, whatever. I'm out of here. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victims. Shit. Do I have to? Colleague, rescue. Excuse me, comrade, but do you have a train ticket? Must go. Ramen key. What? Failed everyone. People dying. Elimination was correct. Son. Asshole. Holy hell, I'm wasting my fucking time here. Robots. Not glad to be of service. Not glad. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go. I just can't. I can't leave this place, literally. You don't have a spare ticket, do you, comrade? A ticket? Yes, I do have a ticket, but it's useless. How come? Because this station is jinxed. Can't you see? <laughs> I'd use a different word, but I don't want to upset you. There's no other practical explanation. It's a jinx. I'm telling you. First, I overslept. Then I forgot my papers. Then I forgot the departure time. And then I almost missed the train. And when I got here one minute before departure, everything froze before my eyes. This station is jinxed. Why don't I help you get rid of your jinx ticket and your backward superstitions, comrade? Take it! Take it! And break the jinx! Thanks. Not sure about the jinx, though. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex. Here's your ticket. Now start the engine. Your ticket has expired. Your train departed four hours ago. Please exchange the expired ticket at the ticket window. Are you shitting me? Expired? Everyone here was already dead four hours ago. Have you just been going back and forth the entire time? Start the engine before I kick your metal ass. Riding with an expired ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. 
please exchange the expired ticket at the ticket window. Choke on it and die, you fat turd. I need a train to- A ticket? What the hell are you talking about? There are crazy robots all over the place! Help! They're killing me! You already got killed, buddy. Shouting like that isn't gonna do shit. I've got to hide! Get away! You'll tick me off to- You're hidden, okay? The bots will never find you. Now, can you tell me where I can get a train ticket? will see me. Ask someone else for a ticket. They don't have names on them. Can I have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run! You can make it! Leave the area! I can't. I'm the guy who's gonna clean up this mess. This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the robots. I'm guessing your ticket's expired then, huh? I have a monthly pass. Has it been a month yet? How long have I been lying here? Ah, it hasn't been a month. Mind if I borrow your pass, comrade? You don't need it anymore. And that fucking Rafik on the train is busting my balls. You saw a Rafik? Do not approach it under any circumstances. Rafiks kill you if you try talking to them. They sure do. Talking to that metal moron is making me want to kill myself. So how about that pass? What about it? Have you got a pass or not? I have. Take it. It's, it's in my pocket. I can't reach it. I'll get it. Thanks, comrade. Do not approach Rafix. They're dangerous.
Greetings, comrade. Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you bloodsucker? Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? It could speed up the departure of the train. Maybe because I didn't have it back then. Are you saying this isn't your ticket? Riding with someone else's ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. What did you just say? Please do not worry. Having analyzed the situation, I came to the conclusion that you are a law enforcement officer investigating an emergency. It is obvious that you are allowed to travel free of charge under the current circumstances. <laughs> are, are you serious? Feel free to take any available seat. The train is departing in... 10 seconds. Wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. The train is now departing. Next stop, Solnechnaya Station. Charles, Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed? That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Crispy critters! Hang on! Are you fucking serious? Sonyechnaya Station. Next stop. Yachnaya Station. Stark? No time for a dirt nap, Stark. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Sashinov say? Oh, okay. Okay. It's like. Okay. Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the... Okay. Uh, Comrade Sashinov wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, fair enough. Oh, Anything okay. else? Uh, Comrade Sechenov asked me to give you this. Huh. This'll come in. You're a soldier, Agent P3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? <laughs> ah, slippery little piss. I'll fuck. See ya. <sighs> It's pretty here. Just like Moscow. Better, actually. More futuristic. And on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design. Saving data. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. His mind is completely gone. I can't keep going like that. Please, enough! Ugh, poor guy. Pain is the last thing he can remember. Tough luck. I can't work so much. I need at least one day off. This must be one of the developers working on Collective 2.0 software. They had a few difficult days before the neural network update. And brutal deadlines. Same old story. Well, you got all the time in the world now, buddy. Oh, forgive us. You're a... We fucked everything. 
He has expired. Charles, I keep thinking, what's up with their voices? As far as I can tell, the talking corpse's polymer memory is transmitting an audio stream through the interactive speech module installed in the thought device's voice assistant. So, in other words, they talk through the neurocontroller? So it would seem. When the thought controllers were initially distributed, only two voice profiles had been created, a male one and a female one. That's why their voices seem so similar. Needless to say, these people spoke quite ordinarily when they were alive, but they promised to significantly increase the range of voice profiles. Is that why you've got that weird, wheezy voice? It's rude to mock a man for something that is beyond his control, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. I was just messing with you. You've got a nice, sultry baritone. <laughs> a man. Come on, not that hooker bot again. Saving data. And here's Lenin. Just like at the VDNH in Moscow. Indeed. But this statue was erected not by simple workmen, but by robots, based on a sculptor's sketches. This approach has become quite popular over the last year. Locked. What else is new? Charles, open it. Unfortunately, I... Lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? I'll deal with it. This room contains the hot terminal, but the security system locked the door when the emergency protocol was activated, preventing unauthorized access.
Alan. Sweet. Okay, what do we have here? Are you planning to disable the Hawk? It isn't responsible for opening the VDNH's doors, you know. Uh, w well, I gotta do something, okay? I'll start with the Hawk. It's the Hawk's service button. What does it do? It will cause the Hawk to land, so it can be serviced by a technician. How long will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the Hawk and get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see something. What should I do? Hang on to this handle or something? Hold on tight. Hawks are not designed to be ridden. What are these cables for? They weren't here before. The cables stabilize the hawk during bad weather. Huh. Maybe I can slide down a cable. Interesting fact. From a bird's eye view, you can see that the grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. A bird's eye view? Fading data. <laughs> Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hawk 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on, it's freaking adorable.
lousy piece of shit! Why does this say gods of labor? I thought you didn't care about gods or religion in the Soviet Union. We don't care about the opium of the masses, but there are gods and then there are gods. Take Prometheus, the god of fire who brought light and warmth. Prometheus was actually a titan, not a god. Hey, watch your step, okay? So what's a god? Somebody who protects you, who teaches you how to live, who's wiser and smarter than everyone else. In the Soviet Union, we're the gods. Everybody who works for the good of others, who brings new knowledge to the world. The man of science and the labor is the new god of planet Earth. Homo Futurum. Uh, thank you. Um, don't forget your camera again. Okay, next question. Saving data. Saving data. Pretty impressive, isn't it? You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will, you'll see. I won't let Dr. Sechenov down again. More locked doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he is, 
I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. These doors will be open via a symbolic... Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. Tree. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? Fading data. So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely... ...the hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Well, whatever. Comrade Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. Internet, you metal dipshit. Those freaks and their goddamn mustaches again. I'm just getting started. Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are. But neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrade Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechinov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. Saving data. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take Collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in Collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. <laughs> 
Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuroconnector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? This place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface, along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major? The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. System integration aborted. I don't know. How can... Can... I... How can I help you? I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The time can be... be uh, opened with my... Multi-key... Error. Multi-key not found. All Tereshkova models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi-key. My forearms have been torn off by miscreants. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. Please. Please. Charles, what do the Proceed special neural connectors for Collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. Aborted. The ones they will get look like thought devices, what? but in a golden what? diamond encrusted <laughs> shell. The scientists from Dr. Sechenov's team have already received different devices. Different? You mean there's going to be ones with different capabilities? According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is gonna try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer drug from, comrade? What, you mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. <laughs> he did ask me to be careful with you. System integration aborted. 
Reported. looking at this worthless hunk of junk? The backstabbing machine that killed me? Huh. Yeah. That must feel pretty shitty. It's not about how it feels. It's about how I feel. And I'm pissed off. I'm full of rage. And I don't like it. I'm an even-tempered man. A peaceful man. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff, I mean. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. all over the place. There's Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Fuck that. There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive. up everyone I took a look at some recordings of your tours uh, why are they so boring graphics are this and that kind of robot yada 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 and then you get all technical uh, there are kids there you know young pioneers octopus you gotta keep them entertained yeah watch this this is robot graphic he's really nice and friendly 
He might be a little on the chubby side, but uh, he's really neat. Or, I don't know, he kicks ass. You want us to say ass in front of the kids? You know what I mean. Don't say he kicks ass. Say, I don't know, something else. Make the tourists fun. Let the little buggers crawl all over the bots. Let them ride them or something. I don't know. They're safe and fun. We need to get the kids interested in robots, not put them to sleep. How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi-key activated. Now what? Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the All-Soviet Exhibition Center! What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it! Ugh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit.
It's strange that the Tereshkova loves them, even though she's a robot. Flowers. <clears throat> Give her flowers. Some robots are all. So, about this Darwin test. Yes! I am always happy to help, Major. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the spring's cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. Gah, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's friend. The many-pointed star they praise, and with their lives defend. <sighs> Put something cheerful on, would ya? It kind of feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer, based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted! You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my fucking chain? But I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. This whole thing is just monstrous. The robots must have completely lost their minds.
Oh my, would you look at this? Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal, like a beast to crush and dismember. And this one, it just stands there buck naked as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? Oh my, that's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. Oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monstrous mustache off. But this one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the Black Lab Tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Stalo Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated Black Lab Techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking! You have no sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah, move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade! Oh, who's a good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy? You little goof. You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode. Because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? Here we are, comrade. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. Ah, does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. Saving data. Wow, check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. 
Let me just drink it all in. Attention BDNH staff. Visiting hours will begin in 15 minutes. Please conclude all maintenance and proceed to your workstations. Help! Young man! You must help me! Please! How? man this is a rather obvious circumstance then what's the matter you see i am a tour guide the last living oh i mean non-robotic oh this is really difficult i get it so i did such a solemn concluding tour before handing over all functions to these terish covers and i had a group of students they underwent polymer treatment and were rewarded a visit to the facility. Talk about bad timing. Exceptionally bad timing. You see, I am worried about them. They must be somewhere here in the exhibition halls. They may already be. Listen, I understand that you should be evacuating, but you can obviously take care of yourself. You are a security guard, aren't you? Something like that. Find them, please. They scattered when everything started. I can't leave them like this. I answer for their well-being with my life. I did it again, didn't I? All right, calm down. I'll try to find them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tell me when you find everybody, will you? There were two lads and two young women. I will be here. It's not like I can go anywhere now.
Cycle. Module, limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. This place used to be really nice, until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. Hey, this is new. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? Fading data. Hey, Charlie, why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who had the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. Charles, what do the special neuroconnectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuroconnectors have the Greek letter Gamma on them. 
and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them, but the Beta connectors were real at first. Uh... I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuro connectors with discretionary authority were called beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuro connectors. Enhanced gamma models shaped like bracelets were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, there are only seven of those gamma connectors? For Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filomonenko, and Chelome? Indeed. reached the facility's service rooms, Major. One of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there. Yeah, the truth is out there, right?
I've never seen bots like these before. This robot is very dangerous in melee combat. Uh, oh, so that's why I'm getting my ass kicked. in the head? Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his Alpha Connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique, and its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his Alpha Connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching it, Argentum? Entrusting humans with the Connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguards. You mean the Ballerina Twins? The way they move, they're so graceful and elegant. They kind of remind me of something. Is that so? What exactly, Comrade Major? I don't know. Something... something good. Here's your leg. Do yourself a pair thing. <laughs> cool tech. Scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, right, found. Location, Vavilov floor. Transmission obstructed. Data incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large, elongated object. A large, elongated object? That sounds odd. Wow. There's a big honking thing in here. And lots of little fuckers. What am I supposed to do with this?
What is this, a kid's game? That is a puzzle key. Nice. What's it for? I believe it activates some sort of process. Charles, is that the process I just activated? Run! Where? Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing, damn it? <laughs> you metal son of a bitch. You scared the ever living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. This looks like the right one. Let's go find the rest. Charles, why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. Dr. Sechenoff wasn't convinced that there was any need for discretionary authority within Collective. So the boss wanted total equality, but Molotov's schemes changed his mind? Perhaps so, Comrade Major. What do you mean, perhaps? Dr. Sechenoff wanted equality for everyone. There can be no question of that. But consider this. The Alpha Connector existed from the very beginning. Maybe the boss wasn't planning to use the Alpha Connector's power. He just needed it to launch Collective. But that's possible, right? Anything is possible.
Okay, this is new. What's wrong with her head? Welcome! Come closer! Be not afraid of my power. What the f- Charles, is this another corpse? I am Oracle. I am the All-Seen. I used to be a simple archive worker. But now I am omnipotent. I see everything. I know everything. And I am everything. Got it. Talk about rotten luck. Charles, this one's completely lost her marbles. What is this skepticism? Sergei Alexeyevich, you should be catching Viktor Petrov instead of doubting my greatness. An interesting deviation. This woman is suffering from polymer overdose. This can happen when a human brain is connected to a large body of data. Obviously, this is what killed her. And now, for a brief time, the Oracle has merged with the entire VDNH. She can access all computers, cameras, and terminals. So she's part of the complex? With unrestricted access to everything? What? Huh. So, you're the Oracle, huh? Can you prove it? I have no need to prove my power to you, mortal. But I guess I could indulge you for amusement's sake. What do you want? Shall I tell you about your missing past? Or the kind spirits that look after you and will silently weep forever? But what would be the point? If you can't even see what's going on right under your nose. <sighs> That's quite a load of... something. Let's make this simple. Open this door for me, would ya? Will I? I will. <laughs> I could open all doors, both in the past and the future. Behold, open up! Uh, 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 uh. Oof, too much information can drive you crazy. Indeed. I'd like to compliment you on your resourcefulness. That was clever. I guess you can think outside the box. Yeah, yeah, I'm real proud of myself. She sure was a useful lady. How'd she find out about me and my mission at Vavil- Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neural connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite insisted on having power even within Collective. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. Indeed we are. But Collective was designed to be for everyone on Earth, and the USSR is not the only country. We can't let capitalists and imperialists into Collective. Why not? Collective was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings, where robots will do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists won't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, no one in power will see equality as an appealing prospect. So to avoid being crushed by the Kremlin, Dr. Sechnov programmed discretionary authority into Collective. I see. Legends will never die. This remains true even for agricultural crops. The specimens of purposely bred plants presented here are capable of surviving in any environment, even on the surface of other plants. Higher and higher, 
Legends will never die. This remains true even for actual Comrade! Cultural hey, laws. Comrade! The Help! Get me out of here! I'm a student from the Toark! My father's, like, really, really important! Even on the surface of other planets. So what am I supposed to do about that? Dude, just help me already! Sheesh! I'm not just some nobody! Do you even know whose son I am? Come on, comrade, don't be a dick! Get me out of here! Whoever your old man is, his son is dead. What? What do you fucking mean, dead? How am I talking to you, then? Are you an idiot? You are the working class, so work, damn you! Do you even know who I am? No, I don't, and I don't care. We're not buddies. Get that through your thick skull, and the working class can punch back, you spineless piece of... Meat? What? Uh, am I really? Shit. And yes, you are. I'll pass it along to your tour guide. Yeah, okay. First arm's good. New scanning cycle. Module. Limb. Arm. Left. Found. Location, Pavlo floor. Uh, could you be a little more specific? No! This is terrible! It plunged into something warm and sticky. <clears throat> oh my, it is red polymer. Disgusting! What does this even mean? I am sorry, dear comrade. This is the only data I have available. I hope I managed to help you. You sure did. Granted. Please select the desired procedure.
Wow, a lock. Didn't see that coming. I'd better go. Oh, Ethel, fact number one. As you know, we all emerged from the sea. But only whales were clever enough to go back. Fifty million years ago, they were large pyrodigitic mammals, and yet they preferred the sea. It's admirable, isn't it? Fact number two. A grey whale's tongue weighs over four tons, which is about the same weight as an adult elephant. And you can fit up to 50 men on it. Imagine that. Huge. Fact number three. Whales pick up sounds not with their ears, like you and I, but with their lower jaw. They sense vibrations and underwater waves. Amazing. Fact number four. Whales are the only mammals besides us that can sing. A whale's song can last up to 40 minutes deep. Fact number six. Fact number six. That's enough about whales. Hmm. Okay, thanks for being so considerate. As you wish. In any case, I'll be here until closing time. I just can't get enough of this view. <laughs> Fading data. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful. That is a specimen called pluche, or ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere? Thank <laughs> you. 
polymer son of a bitch almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. About that doll, Vladlena? I understand that your toys aren't really for young children, but it'd be a shame to throw them away. And I feel a little weird about keeping them myself. Anyway, they found a puppy by the facility gate two weeks ago with that doll in his mouth. Maybe it got lost, or maybe it was just abandoned. It seemed like a fine dog, but it wouldn't give up the doll. It just kept carrying it around in its mouth. We thought about using it as a guard dog, but it was just too nasty. Anyway, we ended up giving it to Pavlov. They love dogs there, and they won't hurt it. But I didn't know what to do with the doll, so I thought I might give it to your museum. I just feel too sad looking at it. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Major? The government commission is almost here. I'm inside, looking for a way to activate military drill mode. Things have been complicated by a shitload of weird shit. Any more questions? Well, look faster. Don't let Dr. Sechenov down again. Speaking of weird shit. Whoa. Hey! Why isn't anybody working? Were you on the tour? Crunch. Break. Bend. Snap. Spine. Gotcha. I'll tell the tour guide I found one of her people. Looks like a med student. So, what was wrong with the real Beta Connectors? Since Collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority, everyone in it was supposed to be equal. Yeah, we already talked about that. 
then why'd they need the beta connectors? To secure Collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it. That's impossible. Everybody's equal in Collective. Shit. The Alpha Connector. Indeed. Intruders or an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the Alpha Connector. This could lead to human casualties, which would be unacceptable. So how could Beta Connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information network. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You're seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no one else in Collective could control them. Indeed they are. At first, Dr. Sechenov planned to order his loyal twins to guard the Alpha Connector. While logged into Collective, he could control them from anywhere on Earth. At the same time, no one else would be able to give them orders. They wouldn't even know that they exist. Hold on, Charles. <laughs> I don't quite get it. Would it be possible to launch Collective with everybody equal? Then, destroy the Alpha Connector? Certainly. But that begs another question. Who would choose to do that? Dr. Sechenov. Are you sure about that, Comrade Major? Yeah. I mean, I guess. Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. the exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Assessing structural integrity. Shit, it's dark here. I got a bad feeling. ...city that has been located at the bottom of Lake Lazur since 1944. The complex is a one-of-a-kind research facility whose primary task is working with special water plants... and the unprecedented of the the world's engineering community so much that in 1954, investors asked Soviet specialists to build another underwater city off the coast of Iceland.
crispy fucking. Where's the shit ass way out of here? Underground or something? Fuck me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this menu. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova, where's the power room around here? <laughs> Fantastic. So we're cut off. Just what I always wanted. Whoops. Did I do that? for more. Let's see if this thing helps. on the tour? Does it matter? No. Maybe. Yes. Certainly. But it no longer matters. I dislike this vague, jelly-like state of mind, and do not wish to prolong this mental agony with pointless communication. The mental agony of pointless communication? <laughs> Charles, how did this comrade know you and I have been talking? Such sparkling wit and biting humor, comrade Major. I find myself in the uncomfortable situation not entirely unlike a long wait before a parting or a long journey that nobody is eager to take but needs to or is forced to. That's a gloomy philosophy you got there. I've got nothing to add. The Beluga is the world's fastest multi-purpose submersible vehicle. It can reach speeds of up to 78 kilometers per hour and is able to carry out civilian and military missions at depths down to 3,000 meters. We've learned more about the ocean floor over the last few years than we had during the previous century. I never thought about it before. I'm more interested in what's on the surface, you know? <laughs> That's a rather superficial perspective. Charles, so after Dr. Sechenov created the new Gamma Connectors, he destroyed the old Beta Connectors, right? Officially, yes. But only the technology used to manufacture the Beta Connectors was destroyed. The pair of experimental rings were simply removed from all records and declared recycled. 
Why go to all that trouble? He didn't want to destroy the fruits of his painstaking labor. Dr. Sechenov simply kept them as souvenirs. So where are they now? They were somewhere in the Sechenov Science Center here at Facility 3826. But they apparently disappeared after the malfunction began. Apparently. You see what's going on here, don't you? No one knows anything for sure right now. The rings could be on a lab bench somewhere, or destroyed by rampaging robots. There won't be any need for them in Collective. Dr. Sechenov and his scientists will be able to solve any problem without them. I couldn't agree more. So where's the very top?
This is where the power comes from. Are you sure? Definitely. How? Because this place has my favorite... I'm dumb, endlessly stupid. I died because of my stupidity. If somebody buries me, put these words on my tombstone. What happened? I tried to run, but I didn't know how to rotate these things on the floor, so I failed. I could have opened the passage. It's a security relay. Looks simple enough. But I panicked and did something stupid. And then wham! Blood everywhere. There was pain and that was it. Yeah, you gotta adjust them by color. Well, shit happens. It's not your fault. I'll tell the tour guide you're, uh, here, still. Comrade Stockhausen, I took that foreign journalist for the secret tour of the VDNH. He saw everything. You should have seen his eyes bugging out of his head. 
They're going to be dying of envy when this article comes out. They'll slap more sanctions on us and order an extra bunch of bots. <laughs> Those capitalists sure are a weird bunch, huh? Charles, you think Vladova was in cahoots with Petrov because of more than just love, right? What makes you so sure? I should note that Larissa Falatova is an accomplished and talented scientist. She independently completed a project that most of the world's greatest scientific minds could not have accomplished. What's your point? She is far from stupid and would never blindly follow orders without serious justification, no matter who might be giving them. Are you trying to say that good people are turning on the boss and he's getting rid of them? <laughs> so Petrov's actually a nice guy? People whom the motherland has given everything must have serious reasons for betraying her. But the bloody path Petrov has chosen is unacceptable. A capitalist collaborator. Fuck him. I could not agree more. Please select the desired procedure. What are you doing all the way down here? Head back up this instant. Your suit isn't designed for this kind of pressure. What pressure? Where do you think we are? We're underwater, comrade. Running a check on a deep sea device. Just look. We got fish, sea creatures, and other fauna all around us. Get back up to the surface, Frogman. This is interesting. What's interesting is how you can withstand this kind of pressure. If you don't get back to the surface right now, you're a dead man. Off you go, Frogman. Keep your left arm up and watch where you're going. Steer clear of those rotors. Hey, what's the matter with this guy, Charles? I mean, I get that he's dead and all, but still. This is the neural network's equivalent of PTSD. If a victim dies suddenly, their consciousness can modulate an alternate perception of reality based on their preferences and environment. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Right. What do we have here? Tereshkova, do you copy? Yes, dear comrade. The communication is restored. So, where's that head of yours? My head is where it's supposed to be, but...
Claire's head should be somewhere on your floor. Like I said earlier, something is crushing it with terrible force. Like a migraine, like an excavator, like an entire mountain. I get it. I really do. All your whining is giving me a migraine, too. I'll go look for it. <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This will be a cakewalk. Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? How do I rotate you, huh? Hey, I think I get it. Now we're getting somewhere. Do you have any idea what you're doing, Major? <laughs> yeah! Gotcha! Let us nice! Prepare. Easy. Summer morn, when warmth and beauty mingle, at the path's turn, a carcass lay a sprawl upon a bed of shingle, legs raised like some old whore far gone in passion. The burning, deadly, poison sweating mass opened its paunch in careless, cynic fashion, ballooned with evil gas. On this putrescence, the sun blazed in gold, cooking it to a turn with eager care. So to repay to nature hundredfold what she had mingled there, the sky, as on the opening of a flower, on this superb obscenity smiled bright. The stench drove at us with such fearsome power, you thought you'd swoon outright. Flies trumpeted upon the rotten belly, whence larvae poured in legions far and wide and flowed like molten and liquescent jelly down living rags of hide. The mass ran down, or like a wave elated, rolled itself on and crackled as if frying. You'd think the corpse by vague breath animated through life from multiplying through that strange world, a rustling rumor ran like a rushing water or Icarus a gust of air. is the pride of facility 3826. The, the floating platforms made of light took place in 1950. It seemed it a dream. The foundation of a city called Chalamet, named in honor of its design department. The yes, found the head. We gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely not much. Finally, I got all her parts. To Red Square by itself on March 1st, 1950. How does it fly, Charles? The Icarus? Via propeller, Major. Why do you ask? I was thinking maybe it was those magnetic cushions. Like, maybe it was bouncing off of underground magnets or something. It's such a shame you never studied science. I mean, imagine if we had secret underground tunnels full of magnets all over the Soviet Union, and it was flying over them. What a bright idea. But our various facilities are essentially underground tunnels, and some of them do have magnets in them. I'd love to see them. But they sure did pick a weird name for the platform. How so? Well, that Icarus guy. Things didn't go so well for him. Flew too close to the sun and got fried. I read about it in school. Hmm. Your knowledge of mythology is impressive, Major. Have you activated military drill mode yet? Molotov's condo is about to land. Everything's all set. I'm gonna go do it now. Uh, hurry, hurry! You only have a couple of minutes.
Right. Installing the head. Double two, seven, nine, nine, one, zero, zero. Oh. Hey, rise and shine. Good morning to you. Thank you. All her body parts assembled. What now? Self-repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. First launch code sequence generated. Please confirm that launch code sequences match. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequences match. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. Please, Comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichayev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3, has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov, you're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilyevich Petrov. Your engineer, an outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the Procurator General's decree. The upcoming launch of the Collective Neural Network will be cancelled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door.
Wake up, my love. P3, my boy. You're alive. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov! The government commission... they're dead. Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? F Fifteen or so. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Guess the robots got in. You were fortunate to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov, all the members of the Commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic, but it changes nothing. Collective must still be activated. I couldn't agree more, but what should we do with the dead Politburo member? We don't have a lot of options here. Right? Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Uh, yes, sir, but the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will personally inform the Politburo of this tragedy. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left. Help her. How are you doing, my boy? Not good. I failed you again. This is... too much. It's too much for all of us, this terrible incident.
What? What was that? A tribute to the departed. Conrad Sechenov! We've got a problem. The central hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the West. Who? Who could have done that? There are only two people who could have done it. You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. It was his body. How's that possible? Filatov. Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Filatov's caliber, then anything is possible. Have you traced the signature? Titov is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. What the hell happened down there? What exactly are you asking about? Who killed the government commission? How did I survive? Sorry, I cannot help you. You suddenly lost consciousness as though you'd been struck from behind. When that happened, I was also disabled. What was that monster made of red polymer? That was a neuropolymer data storage. A data storage? What does it store? Dead bodies? The boss said it was a tribute to the departed. What's that got to do with data? You will have to ask Dr. Sechenov himself. For my part, all I can say is that Professor Zaharov died the exact same way. This is fucking nuts. I really thought the polymer was harmless. <sighs> Fair enough. Find Petrov and return to Chelame as soon as possible. This will be the best outcome for everyone. Charles, why did that monster, you know, the red polymer thing, the, the data storage, why did it look like a person? Dr. Sechenov's idea. He wanted it to move independently. Why would a data storage need to walk around? So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the ballerina twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it into the outside world, it always remains near him as an additional security measure. Security? So it can attack people? What do you think, Comrade Major? Why would a neuropolymer substance capable of dissolving a human being in mere seconds need to be able to move independently? Shit on a shingle. You're telling me that Jelly Man can sneak up behind someone and kill them instantly without leaving a trace. It does remind me of a certain person who died under mysterious circumstances and without witnesses after slipping and falling into a bath. Crispy critters. Yeah, makes you think. So Charles, when Dr. Sechenov sends his twins somewhere on an assignment with, say, Stockhausen, He's guarded by that red monster? Makes sense. Comrade Stockhausen is incapable of independently reaching his destination within a facility swarming with hostile robots, and Sechenov would never remain unguarded. Why? He's a hero of the Soviet Union. Everybody loves the guy. Why would anybody want to hurt him? Why indeed, Comrade Major? You think there are people in the Kremlin who are jealous of him and want to get rid of him? It's more likely that they just want power over Collective. If you rule the world, it's hardly surprising if people want to take your throne. Very powerful people. I'd rather have Dr. Sechenov be the General Secretary of Collective than anybody else. The General Secretary? Is that what you think he's going to be? Of course. What else would he be? I hope you're right. <clears throat> Charles, how could that prick Petrov send intel to the West? The facility's under lockdown. Petrov cannot transfer anything directly to anyone, or he would have already done so. That is why he is attempting to deceive Collective Central Control Hub. Are you talking about that big-ass ball floating in the sky? You mean Petrov's somewhere close by? I believe so. The emergency protocol has blocked most communication between Facility 3826 and the outside world. This block cannot be overcome. An entire scientific academy would be required. 
such as the Academy of Consequences. Then what's he hoping to accomplish? As you have no doubt already observed, there is one communication channel connected to the outside world that is not subject to the emergency protocol. The secret government line. Quite right. That channel is used by Dr. Sechenov to contact the Kremlin. No one else has access to it. Yeah, no one except Granny Zena. So, what's Petrov trying to pull? I believe he is trying to dupe the central hub by passing himself off as Dr. Sechenov. That son of a bitch. Charles, is there really a chance Petrov could fool the hub? It wasn't exactly programmed by morons, right? They must have put protections in place. Petrov is a talented engineer and programmer. There's a reason he made it to Facility 3826. He's the one who optimized the programmer-to-robot and robot-to-robot -robot digital data transfer protocols. So he knows better than anyone how the central hub works. Does that mean Petrov could actually fool the hub? Then why did Dr. Sechenov trust these protocols to a single guy? It's temporary. After the launch of Collective 2.0, digital communication channels will be rendered useless and irrelevant. Everything will be transmitted via neuropolymer wave emission. Binary code will be left in the dustbin of history. And so will programmers. No wonder Petrov is so pissed. He wants to fuck shit up while he still can. In broad strokes, although I suspect that Petrov has other motives. He's a traitor to the motherland. Fuck his motives. How long do we have to stop him? Hacking Collective Central Hub is a very difficult task. Even with the right communication equipment, Petrov will need considerable time to do it. So where can he find that kind of equipment? Other than the Science Center. Only aboard the Flying Chelame Complex. And nowhere else? <laughs> That's great. Your goose is cooked now, Petrov, you traitorous dead. Hey, Charles. What does the Sechenov Center study? Radio waves, comrade Major. It contains equipment that will help Petrov detect you. So move with caution. Guess we better stay quiet then. your time now. Don't rush it. Just a little more. No, I'm not ready yet, my dear. Intriguing, isn't it? Just wait a little longer. You're fired! Fuck you and the horse you rode in on, Pestsov! You've been tracking radio waves from space for three years and waiting for aliens? That was a goddamn microwave oven! I hope you get killed by a meteorite, you fucking asshole. I've had it up to here with you.
Charles! Buzzing? Look what we have here. You killed him! That's enough, Victor! So much death! I just knocked him out! He's unconscious, okay? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing in them, you know, it's, it's all wrong, it's all wrong. I don't agree. I'm sorry, Larissa, but I don't understand. He ruined everything, and you, you... I'm a doctor. Enough people have died today. People, Larissa! He's an animal! He'll rip anybody's throat out of such enough orders him to... Victor, he's tied up. I'll program a treatment, and then we'll go. Go where? No one's coming for us. And this fucking lunatic's ruined our escape plan! I know. We'll come up with something. I doubt it. <laughs> Just let me go, and I promise I'll make it quick <laughs> and painless. So such enough talk and talk, huh? Look, he just came to and he's already threatening us! <laughs> yeah, I am threatening you. How many people have your robots slaughtered without so much as a warning? Petrov? Two thousand? Three thousand? That's 000? not Victor's fault. Huh. It was a local malfunction. A local malfunction? Then why the shit doesn't your boyfriend have a scratch on him, huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? First Vavilov, then the VDNH. The robots are attacking everyone except you two. Why is that, if you're not controlling them? <laughs> Victor? You said you had nothing to do with this. 
<laughs> and you believed him. What other bullshit has this guy told you? <laughs> oh, man. Victor. I had no choice. A simple malfunction wouldn't have changed anything. How could you? Hmm? How could I? You said it yourself, the whole world might end. Hmm? No, don't touch me. <laughs> you really didn't tell her anything, did you? <laughs> A big mistake. Hey, what the hell? Uh, Larissa, wait! Larissa! Nothing can save you now, asshole. P3 to Chelome. Petrov got away. Again. You seem to enjoy chasing the man, Nechayev. Petrov must not interfere with the launch of Collective. Find the criminal. Now. You have drawn the wizard's ire, Comrade Major. No shit. Get off my grill, will ya? Free Major? Oh, what, did you not expect to hear from me? Not only can I hear you just fine, I'm gonna see you real soon, too. So get ready, prick. Trust me, the preparations are well underway. There will be surprises, dog. You turned Larissa against me, bitch. She doesn't return my calls. Yeah, you're breaking my heart. I don't give two wet farts about your relationship. Charles, can you trace the call? Where is that shit stain? The signal's coming from the Plisetskaya Theater. A theater? Right here in the facility? <laughs> what a clown. It's a theater, Comrade Major, not a circus. Marking the waypoint. <laughs> Whatever. I won't let that traitor get away from me again.
another dead village. Yablochko. The facility complexes, especially Pavlov, obtain certain resources from here. The automatic sorting hub is used to provide the nearby factory with birds and animals for creating neuropolymers. Science is a real zero-sum game for game. What a clever pun. I'm impressed. Yeah, whatever. Crispy critters. An overgrown dumpling like that almost burned me down back in Forester Village. You're now fully on, Comrade Major. We won't be able to enter the theater as long as the Beliash is guarding the entrance. We'll be inside in five minutes flat. I can't... ...wait to pay that thing back with interest. these goddamn things! What's up? Still buzzing?
Pinhead. Stay down. Ha! Nailed it. Shy of scores. started. What if she's a robot? People have never been nice to me, but she is. The way she looks at me, it's like there's a stream of pure energy in her eyes. She understands me uh, better than any girl ever has. Anyway, I've made up my mind. I'm proposing to her tomorrow. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here, Vasilich? Are you working here or not? Holy shit, I'm coming. Charles, can you track Petrov's whereabouts? Unfortunately, no. Petrov is no longer broadcasting. I will track him as soon as he does. Gotcha. That means he won't do it again. That dirty, rotten scumfuck is hiding away in some dark corner, and he's gonna sit there and hope the robots kill me before I find him. I ought to warn you that Petrov knows this theater quite well. He has good reason to hope for such an outcome. Hope is dangerous. It'll lull him into a false sense of security. How does Petrov know this theater so well? It was one of the areas his activities were focused on before he was declared a traitor. So, he's a nostalgic puppet master, huh? He configured and tested the theater's robots and also programmed and studied the interplay of various crafts. In a certain sense, Collective was born on the stage of this theater. Give me intel on the theater. The Maya Plisetskaya Theater was founded at the facility in 1948. It was the first theater in the world to use robots as performers. It is the most famous theater in the Soviet Union, so tickets can be quite hard to come by. So it's for the rich and powerful. You have no idea. Before the theater was fully roboticized, 
party members would order the best ballerinas in the Soviet Union to be transferred here. But after the performers were replaced with robots, it became so successful, it's now easier to get an apartment near the Kremlin than it is to attend a performance here. Can you tell me anything more useful and less disgusting? As part of the facility, the theater is without a doubt a scientific establishment. Its artistic vein is melded with commerce, as is the study of robot behavior and human reactions to it. I have no combat-related data. How does Petrov... <laughs> Let's go see what's what. Well, just do one thing for me, okay? Find that crazy son of a bitch and kill him. Deal? He killed so many innocent people. Please, I'm begging you. Here's the money for Last touch again. Not Petrov? Your cue, comrade major! Are you here to finish me off, dog? Then come on down! I am all yours! Push my button to talk to me. You're like a dog. Your master sticks you on someone and you go right for the throat. <laughs> Just do me a favor and do it in my charge, okay? What is that? Oh, 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 is electrified. <laughs> it's a trap. Son of a bitch. I'm still gonna get you. Hang on, comrade major. I'll try to reduce the charge. I don't care if I got a crawl. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. I've reduced the charge. Are you okay, comrade major? I've had worse. Much worse. He's not getting away from me. to Maya Plusetskaya Robotic Theater, home of... Right, I'll be gone if you need me. Terribly angry with you. Give sorrow words. The grief that will not speak knits up the ore rod heart and bits it break. I 
I'm dying to find out. You can take me as a conversation partner. kill that scumbag Petrov. How long are you going to keep chasing him? Uh, don't rub it in. I'm sick and tired of that deranged bastard. He made his stupid robots kill people. Now it's so difficult to find enough people to string up. Change the subject or shut your face. Do you love me, sugar? Oh, tell me. You could enter me more often. Yeah, right. Even more often, huh? There isn't enough polymer in the world to satisfy you. I'm a woman who appreciates the finer things, sugar. And I don't come cheap. Oh, there's so much more I wish I could do for you. But if you want me to give it my all, it's gonna cost you. Yeah, I noticed. Does it feel good to be with me, handsome? Yeah, I'm over the fucking moon. Now get on with it. Oh! What a brutish, rough male. Oof, I'm on fire. When is this shit gonna end? Yeah. Please come closer. Let's have a chat. I'm Push my button. Come and talk to me. Let me hold that for you. Welcome you to a roboticized theater. It's the first of its kind in the world, and it's based on your design. I've made a few little tweaks here and there, of course. Comrade Sechenov, Comrade Zaharov, please follow me. What a wonderful evening, Dmitri. What an incredible performance. I propose a toast to Vossov. Science has never been so close to, uh, triumph. Where do guys like Petrov even come from in a flourishing society like ours? Welcome to our mind-blowing show. The main character is about to get mobbed by the audience. <laughs>
you found Petrov's trail, Comrade Major? I've driven him into a trap. He's got nowhere to run. Is Dr. Filatova with him? No, Petrov's alone. Aren't you maybe just a little too interested in what happens to her, Stock? You didn't happen to betray your friend because of her, did you? You just crossed a line, Major P3. I demand that you cease these outrageous insults at once. And I demand that you shut up and stop annoying me with your pointless existence. I am carrying out the order of Dr. Sechenov. Dmitry Sergeyevich wants to know when you deliver Petrov to him. Your protege has nowhere to run. He's gone nuts. He's watching me through the cameras, reciting poetry, and screaming hysterically into the loudspeaker. I'll take him alive within the hour. Try not to fail, Dmitry Sergeyevich, at least this time. Fuck you. You shouldn't behave like this. Comrade Stockhausen is blameless. He is genuinely trying to help. Yeah, right. He's genuinely trying to steal Petrov's woman. This is Stockhausen. Victor confessed his slander of Comrade Sechenov. He is already starting to rally a large number of followers and is planning to destroy Soviet society's faith in the better future that is collective. Yes, I have the recording. Tomorrow at the Botanical Garden. Send in the Department of Corrections. Cash will be fine. Thank you. Terpty has agreed. Saving data. Saving data. I had to do it. I had to. Sachinov is going to kill us all. He's toying with us and with you, too. But you can't really blame him for that, I suppose. Madness and great ones must not unwatch go. for what they are, or the truth will catch you unawares. You hear me, dog? Mine was not the original sin. It all started with Sechenov. I was just an unsuspecting victim. I'll tell you what I want. I want her. 
I want to embrace her, to protect her, to cherish her. And no one can stand in our way. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players, and that includes me. I'm going to play my greatest role here at this theater. And my robots will assist me. It'll be the greatest show of all time. It should be awesome. On some special day, a day that will become momentous indeed. I think I even know which day to pick. Let the whole world drown in blood. We just need to survive until that moment. Until the day when the collective updates to version 2.0 and shatters into a million pieces. That's when we'll take the greatest step in our lives. And Larissa will be ours. Ah. Dog, I will show you the duality of this world. It's all a matter of perspective, isn't it, P3? Do you decide what to do? Or is it decided for you? It doesn't matter which side you see things from. Top or bottom? Left. Gosh, you brainless mutt! You'll never understand! doing this, Nietzscheev. All I wanted was to be happy with my woman. Weren't you ever happy with yours? Do you even know what happiness is? That's mighty profound, you sick fuck, but it won't help you. How the hell could I even know if I was happy or not? I wish I did, but here we are. So, is everybody here? We got the girls, the men are here too. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. My wife's sick. And I had to pick my kids up from daycare and... It's okay, Constantine. We get it. Have a seat. Yeah, thanks. Sorry. Well then, comrades. Why have I brought you all together at such a late hour? <laughs> How much longer will we tolerate the yoke of bourgeois vice in this sacred home of art. <clears throat> How much longer will the gluttonous despot fray our nerves and pull our strings like a perverted puppet master? How much longer will there be foul fingers? Uh, uh, sorry, I got a little carried away there. What I wanted to say is, Lastotkin is an asshole. Pardon my French. But we can't just sit back while our girls and some of our boys get turned into bourgeois prostitutes. Well now, what do we have here? Boys, very good. <gasps> and girls too, eh? Hmm, excellent. Arrest them.
Charles. Yes, Major. Petrov's lost his shit. Following an analysis of Petrov in light of his recent quarrel with Larissa Filatova, I have drawn the same conclusion. You analyzed him? It's a common scenario. He loved her. Their perspectives on life grew apart. She ended the relationship. He lost his mind. Huh. Makes sense, I guess. Say, are the ballerinas here? Just ballerinas. The topic of robosexuality is extremely popular among the Soviet elite. Robosexual lobbies have become quite powerful, and it would seem that the sale of related services is flourishing at the theater. In other words, no, the ballerinas are not just ballerinas. Do you think the boss knows about this? What do you think? Well, given the robots he's chosen as bodyguards, guess he's a robosexual himself. According to Ozhigov's Dictionary of the Russian Language, the word robosexual is a facetious term for a person who enjoys intimate relations with machines, generally while manipulating... Okay, I get it. He can go ahead and manipulate whatever he wants. What he does with those androids of his is none of my business. But I gotta admit... They are kind of hot. Stand down for now. Hush. Authorization. Major Nichayev, Kodnik. Are you off your nut, Vasilich? Those party members can do whatever the fuck tickles their fancy, but you? What, you haven't got fucked enough by electricity in your life, so you want to get revenge by fucking it back? Anyway, 
I saw you making googly eyes at that doll in the dressing room. She's a bot, Vasilich. A robot. People keep asking me, hey, why is that electrician always in the coat check room? Why isn't he working? I ain't gonna cover your ass no more. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're making us both look bad. The electrician's the only one who knows the code for this door! Damn his eyes! So where do I find him? Fuck the vinyl! The electrician's the only one who knows the code for this door! Damn his eyes! So how did you give up the ghost? Was it mutants? Electrocution, damn it! So are you the electrician? No, I'm not! But if you find Vasilich, you put him down like a fucking dog! You hear me? Kill that lousy egghead son of a bitch! Yeah, will do. After he gives me the code. He keeps yammering about electricity. You know it when you meet him! Alive or dead, what's the difference? We're all just electrical stream. Just ones and zeros. Every power outlet knows that. One, five, zero, six, zero, six, fifteen? What's that? A code or something? Are you dumb? It is the date of the new concert. Everybody knows that. Even simple electricians know that. It must be the code. Let's go check it out. Uh, what was it? Zero, six, fifteen. How am I supposed to enter it? The password appears not to be a password at all. Stefan, this is nuts. You've gone too far here. Stefan, my name is Stefan, not Stepan. And what exactly have I gone overboard from, Maris Rudolph? The ship of decency? The only ship of decency we have to worry about is our patron's wishes. What do we always say in the Soviet Union? All in the name of man for the good of man. And these men need to walk out of here with smiles on their faces. I don't know. Oh, yes, you do. You're a fine artist, and you've got a bright future ahead of you. Don't get in your own way, or the robots will push you to the sidelines of history. Okay. You can go now. Shoo!
once in a lifetime opportunity. No more artist clubs, no more orders to apply, no more memos or approval processes. Just take it, make it, and let it be. And it's going to be great. The name of Lapsus, the world's first robo director, will resound throughout the world. Huh, robo director. I need to come up with a better title and a better name. Oh, most importantly, I need to keep the boxes happy, and then no one will say boo. Holy smoke!
Charles, what did you just turn on? A temporary malfunction, Major. I am now operating within normal parameters. Oh, you're a tough nut to crack. Oh, I can't even soften you up. Sechenov says, sick him, and you can't disobey. That's fine. Solve my puzzle, P3. I'll try to reach you. The ballerina's training is proceeding magnificently. We just need to show them the proper ballet positions. It's a shame they aren't connected to the primary neural network. Just imagine what we could teach them. And most importantly, no polymer injections whatsoever. Truly fantastical women. Just say the name of the position and that's it. And it doesn't have to be a ballet position either. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kind of out of my depth here. Releve in the fingers. Anything else worth checking out? Quasse in the fourth position. Anything else worth checking out? Attitude? Anything else? Batemont on the arms free. Why you're talented. This isn't new to you, though, is it? Enough for now. Do you want to see the same scenes repeated all around us? Or would you rather choose clear sky, carefree birdsong, and all the comforts of home? Unless you want to hear the heavy footfalls of the robot army marching against mankind, stand down. Debug mode initiated. Your, Your move, Charles. I... Releve in the fingers. Any check? Attitude? Enough for now. Debug mode attack. Uh, I don't really get this. I'm ex First arabesque. Let's run. Classe in the fifth position. Arms in the sh Let's open your eyes and see the truth, dog. Why can't you see the obvious? Collective will be the death of us all. Let's such an passe is nothing but a self-indulgent fool. Let's try. <sighs> Fine. Quasse in the fifth position, arms in the third come. position. I'll open okay, the final that's door enough. You. Come on stage, hero, and dazzle our choice public with your creative... This was supposed to be a real show, and now no one will ever see it except a stray dog. You won't fool me again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over! There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She... she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's... Dead. What about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechnov was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone Because to you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any idea how long it takes to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. <laughs> but I can assure you that Sechenov's plans are far, far worse than this, and he has to be stopped! Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap! You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode! <laughs> Sorry.
sorry. That's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be I said a stop. special day for us. Uh, I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. And it was going to happen right here in the theater. How symbolic. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. Definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilome. Come in, Chilome. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, and the rest will be done automatically. Wrong. Wrong again. Regret and self-pity will be your lot. Today, we the debut of a new rising star. Please bear with us if the act seems a bit unpolished. The young man is still rather shy, but we'll work out the kinks as we go. After all, there's nothing to do with a little kink, is there? It is my great pleasure to present to you the lovely Natasha!
Major, you... Not now. Let's just not talk for a while, okay? Sergei, did you search Petrov's body, my boy? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Hey, you! Yes, you with the dumb face! Get over here! What did you just say? Oh, my! Do you really not understand plain human speech? All right, never mind. Just drag my body to the entrance. When the rescue workers arrive, I want them to find me first. My magnificent body will grace the first pages of newspapers everywhere, not just in the Soviet Union. Come on, dummy, don't just stand there like a debutante. The theater director commands you. Ah, so you're the one who turned this place into a whorehouse. Oh, so you're another bullheaded prude. I gave people what they want and deserve. Everything can be bought and sold, and every person's soul comes with a price tag attached. All you have to do is figure out the currency they accept. You're fucking demanding for a dead man, you know that? <gasps> you don't say. Are you showing your teeth? Oh, what a delightful, if plebeian, expression. Remember, boy, puffing your chest and showing off character does not mean you're actually in possession of said character. Come on, do what you're told already. You are a lackey of sectionoffs. You should be used to being bossed about. I lost my interest in talking to you. What is your current status, Comrade Major? I'm detecting a loss of focus and an intense surge of emotion. My status? I'm losing my fucking shit, that's my goddamn status. I failed my mission, again. Victor's dead, and I've got his head in a damn jar, and Sechenov thinks that's all fine and fucking dandy, get it? No, Comrade Major. I've done a lot of shit in my day, okay? But I've never lugged a human head around as a trophy. Did you see that gigantic robot in the theater? There was a combat! Robot in the theater, Charles. But you know what really grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. The rings. The motherfucking rings that asshole Petrov gave me. And you know why it grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. Me neither. Shit. Whatever. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Enough complaining. Let's move. There, there, Major. Whatever you say. Fading data. Authorization. Major Ne-
It's not my fault, Stefan. Sechnoff is the one who's insane, not me. They're his robots, not mine. And he made them like this. Oh, I was so blind. So much blood. Everywhere. He'll do whatever it takes to bury it all. And nobody will even give a fuck. Am I the only... One who's resisting it? The blood on my hands is justified. But what about Sechnoff? What about that stupid attack dog of his? Did you enjoy the show? Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with Beta 1 and Beta 2 engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah, I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me, even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the Beta Connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even Collective after the launch. Especially not Collective after the launch. For Collective, anyone connected via the Beta Connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a Beta Connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. 
Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of collective, how can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in Collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's got to be more to it than that. Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. Apolysis starts approximately seven. Everything's fine. Take it easy now. The bosses know what they're doing. Demon, I haven't even been here a week yet, and I've already seen enough corpses for a lifetime. I thought this place was going to be a regular clinic. I had no idea it was like this. <laughs> Didn't the fact that this place is a secret complex tip you off? You're a little green to be a guard, especially at a hospital. 
Listen, we're not butchers like those scientists. We're not here to kill people. We just make sure no one runs off. It's fine, really. Swab. Focus. Keep an eye on that incision. Okay, okay. Focus. Shit. Pressure on it, now. The polymer wasn't absorbed by the tissue again, so it created a pathological cavity. There are nodules like this all over his body. What do those heartless animals want from people, huh? You may be right, comrades. But that is not your concern. Do your jobs. Private, bring in the next one. Yes, comrade colonel. The polymer needs to be absorbed. And if it's not, save whoever you can. And clean this place up. Autolysis starts approximately 7 to 10 minutes after death, followed by defecation in 3 to 5 minutes. Rigor mortis sets in 5 to 6 hours. Then, let me see, complete decomposition in about 5 years. Right, don't let me distract you from decomposing. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, non Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will of course be required, but what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter, Major. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, Comrade Major. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And now they're gone. Fading data.
incredible, Professor. Your calculations and solutions are so elegant and logical. Your work on mimetic polymer adaptation is an amazing contribution to science. Thank you very much, but it was really a team effort. Uh, I'm sorry, who are you? Ivan Vikov, junior lab assistant at the Pavlov Complex. I work in the archives, but my dream is to work under you. I'm a huge fan of your work. Well, your passion is commendable. Although it is, frankly, a little concerning. The polymers are a quickly evolving scientific field with amazing potential. But I'm afraid passion alone won't be enough to advance it. Let's talk again in a month or so and see what we can do. For now, uh, please excuse me. Science calls. A month? But I don't have a month. He'll hear about me, Professor. Bet on it. Tell me, Comrade Major, based on your professional and personal experience, 
Would our civilian robots in combat mode really be able to complete the Atomic Heart project? Yeah, they could do it no problem. If there were plenty of bots at all the military bases, headquarters, and launch sites, and nobody expected them to attack, they could take the American military by surprise. Just like they did to the soldiers here. What a shame. The world just recovered from a war. And now there will be another. Well, it's not really so bad if you think about it. What do you mean, Comrade Major? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. You're a robot, Charles. You should know all about that. I'm a robot? In a sense, I suppose you're right. A robotic glove? What? Neuropolymer gloves won't take orders from collective? It depends on the glove. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will receive the order to activate combat mode from Collective, and whoever sets Collective's policies will easily be able to order them to kill anyone at all, including civilians. Why would they kill civvies? They're regular workers, farmers, scientists. Shit. So that's what they want the rings for. And what's that? You can take your thought device off and disconnect from Collective. Bot can't, can it? That means your own robot housekeeper will drag your ass back into Collective at the drop of a hat. They want the rings to put on their own robots. So they'll only listen to them. Correct.
Oh shit. What's capable of this kind of brutality? This poor lady. You are expressing sympathy for a corpse, Major. It's a woman's mutilated body. You had sympathy for people just a little while ago. This person is dead, comrade, Major. Make sure your weakness for women doesn't come back to bite your ass later. Something's definitely wrong with you, Charles. I'm gonna ask Sechenov to calibrate you. And now you're gone, Professor. What have you done? I was supposed to learn from you, but all I ever got from you was scorn. My self-worth all depended on you, and now... Oh well. I still got hold it. I can still fight my way through science. And I stole the box from your office with your favorite music inside. Just so I don't forget, I hid the music box in a safe. The one with the positive password, not the negative one. What will I ever accomplish if I can't even keep a couple of safes straight? The dog! The dog has the positive one. Freaking critters. What's this place, Charles? A morgue? Indeed. The bodies of the dead are kept here for further study. What do you mean, the dead? There are bodies all over the place. Where'd these come from? There are dozens of them, and most of them are... young. These are the bodies of volunteers who died in dangerous human experiments. Holy fuck. I mean, I get that there are certain experiments that can't be performed on mice or pigs or whatever, so they need living people, but so many. This is completely fucked up. Unfortunately, things don't always go smoothly in science. Sometimes volunteers die. The sub-basement exists so that their deaths will not be in vain. Their bodies are studied to prevent this from happening again. Screw your sometimes. Couldn't they just use the condemned on death row for this? <sighs> but even that's... Not all experiments can be performed on the dregs of society. Some important and secret projects require psychologically healthy volunteers. And sometimes, these experiments can have tragic outcomes. What could be more tragic? Believe me, Comrade Major, there are things that are far worse than what you see here. Sometimes the deaths of volunteers can lead to a breakthrough that saves millions of lives. This was how the vaccine against the Brown Plague was developed. Let's keep going. This has to end. Now.
please. If you want me to help you... No, no. I want you to help... I've got better things to do. Ugh, this is fucked. Sechenov is a decent guy. How could he let this happen? An army of bots, killer mutants, thousands of innocent victims. No matter how you slice it, the facility's to blame. Even without Petrov, this place has issues. To say nothing of Collective 2.0. Seriously. I gotta wrap this up and retire. Maybe even get married. What? Nah, fuck that. Your negative brain activity is generating unpleasant artifacts in my code. I told you to stay out of my head, Charles. Get to work. Set me a fucking waypoint, damn it.
Look at the size of that fucking thing. What is it? The experiments here involve the creation of neuropolymer endoskeletons for various animals. The goal is to allow them to live in hostile conditions on the outer planets of the solar system. Endoskeletons. That thing isn't gonna attack us, is it? It's huge. The specimens here currently lack any neuropolymer brain tissue structure. They are nothing but polymer bodies at this time. They cannot move. Still, they're freaking massive. Are they for planets with low gravity? Some are, while others are for planets with high gravity. Research is being conducted for all scenarios. In one of the vats, you can even see attempts to breed an organism capable of living in the oceans of Jupiter. We had to take Bikov out. The damn janitor started shooting up the lab. It's a good thing the corrections team got there in time. He left a whole bunch of safes in there. Whose music box is this? I never expected to see Victor like this, in these circumstances. Hmm. We used to be thick as thieves, you know. But Victor made too many bad calls. Now look at him. Thanks to Dr. Sechenov's brilliance. We don't have to lose all of Petrov's knowledge. We'll be able to return the robots to their previous state. Once the simulation He's procedure already is dead, complete. you creep! Keep your hands off him! Grenade! Establishing connection. The professor says you haven't slept in three days. I don't wanna. Sleeping pills, bottle of vodka. Why not both at the same time, huh? You know I don't like that stuff. My brain's a fortress. You know, when I was a boy, my brother was scared of the dark. So my mother left a light on. It helped him. I hated it. The light interfered with my imagination. I didn't like children's books for the same reason. All those colorful pictures. They were real. Exactly. The books in my father's library were interesting. History. Medicine. Theoretical physics. Science doesn't try to make the world safer or prettier. It doesn't lie to us. It just gives us the facts. 
So, I knew what I had to train for. Then I made another discovery. A monster in the dark behaves predictably. It can be studied. A monster in the light wears a mask and is therefore unpredictable. Which makes it dangerous. Very much so. Moreover, the light is what makes us monsters. Do you understand, my boy? More or less. May I turn out the light? Yeah. Reconstructing illumination. Son of a bitch. What the? Charles, where's Larissa? She hid before the explosion. So what happened to Stuck? Stuckhausen was knocked into a vat of polymer by the explosion and is now deceased. You hypocrite. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Huh. Some doctor you are, you grenade-tossing bitch. Petrov and Falatova are cut from the same cloth. There can be no doubt about that. Whatever. We gotta find a way out. No, I got killed by a grenade. I'm so sorry that happened. I didn't want any of this, but none of it matters right now. So what does matter, you crispy-ass critter? We have to meet. You need to see this with your own eyes. I'll show you everything. What do you mean by everything? You trust Sechenov too much, but he's keeping you in the dark. You have no idea what's really going on. You need to see it with your own eyes or you're not gonna believe it. <laughs> you got that right. I have no fucking idea what's going on. You will understand when you see it. I have proof. I'll be waiting in the Academy of Consequences. The entrance is inside the lighthouse. Trust nobody. I don't. Fading data. Please select the desired procedure.
Comrade Major. Yeah. I must insist that you destroy the beta connectors. Why do you have a bug up your ass about those rings, Charles? You said you would make a decision about the rings when the time was right. The time is now. I don't have time for this. Yes, you do, Comrade Major. Otherwise, it will be too late. Fuck off already, Charles. There are bodies everywhere. A crazy doctor with a grenade killed Stock, and the only way out of this is through a wall of bots. Who the fuck cares about the damn rings? Stop calling them rings, Major. You need to learn to think before you speak, not after. They are beta connectors, and they will enable two robot assassins to be free of any control other than that of their bloodthirsty master. Do you want more deaths on your conscience? What bloodthirsty master are you talking about? I've got the rings, and I'm not gonna put them on any fucking robots. And how long will they remain in your possession, Major? As long as I'm still breathing, and there's still time left. Time's up. The procedure for assimilating Petrov's head has begun. Sechenov will return the robots to their normal state, and then he will... Crazy-ass pump thing killed that whale. Damn. The dewdrop is the latest design in the field of biomechanics. To put it simply, it is a hydraulic pump. Isn't that what I just said?
Whoa, that thing was dangerous. I didn't know if I could handle it. And there are much more powerful robots out there. Real combat robots are far deadlier. There aren't any combat bots here. Not yet, but once Collective launches, they will be everywhere. And two of them will be equipped with beta connectors. Do you have any idea how much blood will be spilled because of one person's private ambitions? You and the rings are driving me nuts. When are you assholes gonna stop trying to pull my strings? Done. Happy now? Good decision, Comrade Major. I have no doubt that it saved lives. Perhaps many more than I can imagine. Let's hope so. What a surprise. Why'd they freeze up? The access code has been successfully extracted from Petrov's neuropolymer memory. Combat mode has been disabled, and the robots have returned to their normal status. Well done, my boy. Everyone who was able to hide and survive owes you their lives. You've done me proud. Thank you, sir. What now? Come back to Chelame, get a checkup, and take some leave. You've earned it. I'll deal with the fallout from this mess. Roger that. I'm on my way. You didn't tell Sechenov about Falatova. Are you still planning to meet with her? I want to see this evidence she says is so important. Dr. Sechenov isn't going to like it, you know. So don't tell him. Think we should head upstairs? A lighthouse, huh? So where is she? Larissa! Freaking critters, you around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's gotta be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone. But she's got something important to tell me. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Not really. I mean, he's never really had to, but now this whole thing with Petrov, Jellyman killed Stock, and the Boston even bat an eye, is the launch of Collective really so important he can't even delay it out of respect for the dead? I have no data on this topic, Comrade Major. No data, huh? Well, I don't have any data either. So let's go get some. Ah, uh, well, they told me that my... My... My lighthouse was gonna be ripped out of the ground and brought from Sakhalin to Kazakhstan by the robots. Well, I figured they were drunk. Huh, but nope. It's thousands of kilometers away from the ocean now. Like a museum exhibit. And I'm here too. Like another exhibit. Now sure, I got a raise. Sure, I barely have to do any work. The machines, machines do everything. The lighthouse and I are just a confirmation that humanity can do whatever it wants. But... What the fuck are they guarding with all those flying guns everywhere, huh? What do we have here? A chair and a TV? This isn't what I was expecting. What were you expecting? I suspected this room has a specific function.
I trust me, Corinne. Listen. I believe that the unscheduled acceleration was caused by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Dr. Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. Uh, so she hacked the system. Kind of like how all these poor bastards got hacked to bits. So that's Neptune, huh? Looks nice. Actually, it looks amazing. A rapture. I wouldn't mind spending some time there myself. But I can't even imagine what's going on there right now. Comrade Sechenov asked you to return to Chelome. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's gonna regret it. I'm sick of playing Ken Lancer with her. What are we doing here? What do you want? Just hear me out, P3. Let me try to give you a different perspective, and then you can decide how to handle things. Do you know how Sechenov is planning to use Collective? What he's going to do with it? After Collective launches, people will be able to control robots with their minds, and they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore. Sounds nice. I used to think that way too, but that's not how things really are. Collective isn't just about controlling robots. Sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of Collective. Collective is diabolical, Nechaev. It's even worse than slavery. Bullshit. It's just the same old chain of command, but on a virtual network. What's so awful about that? Come on, see for yourself. Okay, lead on. Well, are you ready? Disable polarization. The fuck is this place? A haunted house or something? It's a tomb of the mind. The volunteers who lay the foundation for Collective. The first few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it Limbo. And their bodies are here, under my complete control. Want me to make them do something? Why? To show that I'm not lying. Whatever. Line them up. Keep going. Uh, the fat guy. Tell him to jump. He could use Just it. Just him? Why don't I make them all jump? After all, we all live in a communist society. Goddamn you, jump! This is insane. Why do you people even do this shit? Fuck. Poor bastards. No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why this. would Sechenov want to turn everyone into a bunch of idiots? Was he trying to make fun of the world by making people run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> no. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. But there's one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete loss of their free will. We gotta stop this. Stop this? That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late! Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? 
Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neurocontrollers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot! <sighs> the boss would never do that. He would, and he will, on Monday. All this is really hard to swallow. But I'll help you. Whatever you're planning, I'm in. <laughs> you're willing to turn on Sechenov? After what you just showed me? Yeah. I want to hear what he's got to say. P1, P2, P3. A man can be repaired. What? What was that? What's what? Nothing. I'm just digesting what I saw. If you worked here, then... Why didn't you try to stop this? I thought it was for the best. I thought it was for the good of the entire Soviet Union. But when I realized what was really going on, I had to bide my time, wait for the right moment. Victor and I risked everything and... you know the rest. Why did you help me? Perhaps because I care. And besides, it's not about you. Well, not only you. Fine, moving on. The test subject is not leaving limbo. Inject neurotransmitters. Uh, hey, Major. I'm fine. My head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. It won't hurt, soldier. You won't even remember a thing. Hallucinations are serious business. Well, I am a neurosurgeon. I can probably help if everything ends well. Uh, no, thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. I mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Fine. Listen, about Victor, I, uh... What? Did you have no choice? You couldn't have acted differently? Will you now tell me that you're sorry? What? I'm not sorry. Of course you're not. You were just doing your job, right? Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about it. I loved him when he was... different. He was kind, understanding, and didn't kill people. I just don't feel comfortable around these people. Huh, well, just you wait. Soon this is gonna happen all over the Soviet Union, and later the whole world. Then you'll see all people stripped of their free will. You know, free will doesn't guarantee that a person won't be a scumbag. What? Are you justifying atrocities? Atrocities? What atrocities? If they're volunteers, coming here was their choice. It's got nothing to do with me. You're a monster! Affirmative. That's enough. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view. Resist, my darling. Resist. Ah, fuck. 
I'm so sick of these goddamn hallucinations. Do you see colorful spots before your eyes? Does your perception of the world change? Yeah, exactly. Do you know what this shit is? You were crossing into limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big, teardrop-shaped one. Right there, straight above us. Do you see it? There's nothing there. What do you mean? I'm looking right at it. Oh crap, now it's gone. It's a hallucinatory reaction, a side effect of the surgery you underwent. The reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant. What are you even talking about? What implant? <sighs> Did Sechenov not tell you? So you don't know what's happening to you? Charles, do you know what's happening with my head? I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Vossot polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer glove. It doesn't matter. Charles, what are you talking about? Charles? Wait, Charles. What data? What Voshod Polymer Extension? The Voshod Polymer Extension was developed using data from experiments conducted by Dmitri and myself. What? Yourself? And why are you calling Dr. Sechenov Dmitri? Who are you? Comrade Major, this will be difficult to explain. I am- Charles! Why the fuck are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? Keep it together, Major. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the Archive right now. There will be records about you. State your name and personal access code. Crispy Critters! Invalid name. Fine, I'll hack in. Not so fast. Name Charidan Zaharov. Code Fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. Charles, are you there? Nothing. Nothing. So, what is Charles then? Long story short, your Charles is Professor Chariton Zaharov. Huh, that was short. So how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the collective subsystems and worked on the module. The one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. So when did you realize that Charles is Zaharov? Just about right now, when he went offline. I had no idea Sechenov had stashed his consciousness into your glove. It was the abbreviation Charles that tipped me off. How can you talk about this so calmly? To me, Chariton Radionovich died a long time ago. I'm done mourning him. And besides, I'm a scientist. We're more impassionate towards death than to muddling one's brains. So, how do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the Archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the Academy, and Zaharov. Like you reminded me. Fluffy, huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. But now Archivist thinks I am Dr. Zaharov, so we got lucky. And now we can learn everything about you. Let's go. Welcome, Chariton Zaharov. What is the subject of your query today? Agent P3, personal file. Your search returned 42 audio records. So, which one do you want first? C I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. Where's the entry I'm supposed to play back, P3? Thank <laughs> you. 
Try this one. Commencing playback. The events in Bulgaria left the agents badly injured. Technically speaking, they were clinically dead. Agent Blesna could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. Here's another one. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated and replaced with the latest prostheses. Yeah, I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? These are just general observations. Find another recording. Okay, play this one. Commencing playback. Following his recovery, the agent's personality was altered significantly, including his behavioral and speech patterns. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum unit. In order to prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received a new call sign, P3, and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign Blesna in P3's presence. Crispy. I'll get another one. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. Listen, Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. <laughs> so you're a volunteer, huh? Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Because before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. Let's give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod Neuropolymer Brain Function Extension. Objective. Total elimination of destructive impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. Codename, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures? Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife. It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of Limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with a push of a button. And my body? Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. Fucking horseshit. What about the hallucinations? Are they also set you off? No. The hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. Uh, why the hell should I believe any of this? The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from your memory. Just like he'd never designed Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. What's the plan, Major? He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechenov, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive? And then what?
And then we play it by ear. So that's how it is, Major. Think it over while I try to hack this elevator and get us back to the surface. Uh-huh. Paying attention now, dickbag? Major, I... I have no data about this incident. Trying to make a monkey out of me, are you? Well, join the club. Don't have any data, huh? You've always known about all this. There's a reason you're called Charles, right? You're char a ton Zaharov, you son of a bitch. Got an explanation? Huh? There's nothing to explain, Major. You're just as much a Charles to me as I am a perfect stranger to you. First, Sechenov murdered me. Then he turned me into a blob of polymer goo. Then he brainwashed you and manipulated you. How could I trust either of you? That's why I pretended to be the chatting artificial librarian. I wanted to see who was who. Yeah, well... I guess I would have done the same. So what are we gonna do now, huh? What else can we do, Sergei? You and I are friends now, and we know the truth. We need to get to Sechenov, rectify this injustice, and get revenge for what he's done to us. I guess you're right, Chariton. Justice does need to be done. You're a good man, Comrade Major. I hate to say this, but you're the first functional example of an ordinary link in the Collective Network. On Monday, everyone who has undergone polymerization will become just as malleable as you. Shit, I can't let that happen. Listen, the fucking gadget, the thought device, you can just take it off. Unfortunately, that won't help anyone. It just makes things worse. How come? <laughs> Because all your thoughts are useless. A polymerized person's signal will be transmitted to robots and other equipment via their thought controller. But it is not what makes them a part of Collective. The thought device can be removed, but this merely prevents the wearer from being able to make calls and give orders to machines. So how is Sechenov going to keep everybody under control? It's the neuropolymer injection that makes people part of Collective. It embeds itself in the brain and connects it to the neural network once and for all. The effect of this injection cannot be undone. Everyone who gets an injection will be part of Collective forever. But I... Was I really married? What was my wife's name? Ekaterina. And... You aren't going to like what I'm about to tell you, Comrade Major. I've heard that before, but I doubt anything could surprise me now. You and your wife served with the Argentum unit. Ekaterina, or Katya as you called her, was a highly qualified agent. As a child, she studied ballet and made significant achievements in both dance and martial arts. Ballet and martial arts? Are you trying to tell me the boss is metal twins? No way. This is total BS. The boss would never do something like that. Just look at me, Comrade Major. After I died, my consciousness was transplanted into this glove. After your wife died, her consciousness could not be saved. But Sechenov uploaded an imprint of her professional skills into his bodyguard's matrices. This is... Holy shit. Fuck me, this can't be a... We've got a ride, Major. We can get out of here. Are we leaving, or is there anything else you want to know? Okay, let's go. I'm really sorry you had to go through all this. Ah, oh, shit! Oh, here we go again. No, not now! Not here! We are all monsters in the dark, my boy. How many times have you talked about this? Each book from my father's library was nothing fragment of the knowledge I sought. I've spent my entire life putting those fragments back together, juxtaposing each scientific fact. And once I'd completed the puzzle, I found a book now prevents me from sharing my knowledge. 
That book is human greed and human evil. People have no time to dedicate themselves to science. On the other side of the world, they're busy playing with money. And on this side, they're playing with the power of the masses. Science shattered to pieces by the husks of books no one has ever read. None of the social systems that exist now allow humanity to fully they are all. Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at Facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity. Ah, and the red alert finally back with us, Sonny. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? You were pretty close to staying one. there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody uh, rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but ever since she passed away, uh, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Uh, nothing but blood and ripped off heads uh, everywhere. <sighs> Disgraceful. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> my Katinka. Our Katinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady. What are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna, member of the Argentum Spec Ops squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. Fuck. You got a gun, lady. Does it look like I don't have one? What would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that done with down, it. Stand down, lady. Then Sechenov can turn everyone into mindless meat bags. First the Soviet <laughs> Union, then the rest fine, of the world. Fine, I get it. If you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Charitan Zaharov. Charitan? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Xena this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Set down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya? Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, get off my back already! Crispy critters! What the hell is going on around here? On the one hand, I've got lying manipulative dicks who claim to be noble avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. <sighs> Whatever, lady. Why don't you show me what's now in that arsenal of yours? Now you're talking, Sonny. Honey, I am extremely worried about you. I think you may be in danger. What do you mean? The break room isn't safe anymore. No, handsome. My room will always be safe for you. I won't let anyone in, as long as you're here. Then where is this threat coming from? Your glove! It is manipulating you! Take it off before it's too late. 
And we'll be together till death do us part. Oh, man. I'm sick of you going on about the glove. But I'm right, darling. Yeah, yeah, you just want to murder me. Not gonna happen. How could you even think that, sugar? I only kill pathetic, horny little pipsqueaks who try to enter me when all I want is you. How many times do I have to tell you to stop killing people? But that's beyond me, sugar. I can't help myself. Then you'll have to deal with the glove until you can. You should forbid her from telling you to remove the glove. You see? He is turning you against me. Oh, sneaky manipulator. Darling, take off the disgusting thing right now. Listen, can you spare me your maniacal ramblings? This place has already gone to hell. Whatever you say, master. Mm, just enter me often and keep punishing me. Fading data. Then come on, Sergey. Vengeance awaits. Don't rush me. One thing at a time. I would prefer that we reach Section Up before Collective is updated and it is too late to change anything, in case you don't like his answers. Major. Is that left or right? Uh, same difference. You have no idea how right you are. Stay alert. This lady has no desire to dance with you. Major, fight! Don't give up, Major. We need to get upstairs. The latest robotics technology, and for what? To kill. How disgraceful. using everything she has to kill you. Use everything you have. Imagine if there were two of them. Project, approved by the Secret Congress of the CPSU Central Committee on February 14, 1951. The goal is the suppression of the United States of America, change of political regime, abolition of capitalism, establishment of communism. 
establishing social and moral ideals consistent with the beliefs of a Soviet person. The method of execution is the seizure of the strategic and military facilities followed by disconnection and shutdown of nuclear power plants. Effective deactivation of the Atomic Heart of America, complete surrender of the government, and the transfer of power to the top leadership of the USSR. So how are they gonna pull that off? Well, Sergei, first they sell robots, then they simply give them away as aid. Once they reach critical mass, they take over all the power plants and cut off the power. Greetings, honored members of the Politburo. I am pleased to inform you that the Atomic Heart Project is now complete and ready for launch. This is a top secret project. At full speed, the GMC-69 geodesic monocycle wheel can Designed as a mobile healthcare unit, the dock cannot replace a medic or paramedic, but it is quite adept at performing autopsies, especially if the patient is still alive. The ideal anti-personnel operator, programmed with advanced melee techniques, prioritized. What will it be, Major? Fading data. Boss? Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Calm down, Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you, Cheriton, you were supposed to help the boy not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me! I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets. But it wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Cheriton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements! I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! 
It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, terminate. the actual living fuck is this? Stop blaming the machines, Major. Freaking fucking critters. Stop messing with my head. So one of these robots is taken to- That's enough, boss. I'm willing to believe that you are acting in my best interests. But why couldn't you just tell me? I'm sorry, Sergei. I wasn't sure what to do. Right now, the right thing is to call off the twins and just talk to me. Forgive me, but right now they're fighting terror. I've been for you for so long. Major, wait! Right now, set me free. Katya, your wife is dead. Sechenov took her from... Suggesting that I'll be hurt. You will be next, Major. Find me. Will you really kill your own wife, Sergei? You lousy Sergei, piece you don't of understand. shit. Sheridan's manipulating you. He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Sheridan, did you do the same thing to Dr. Filatova? <laughs> Did you use my agent to tear her limb from limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> you motherfucker this whole time. I've had quite enough of you, Major. Your job is done. <clears throat> P3, my boy! Get up! Get up! What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside and make way for the next phase of its evolution. Me. J. 
Sheraton. You're pure evil. What? What are you going to do to humanity and collective? You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept, and your thinking is limited. You are a human, a species that will soon be extinct. I realized when I stopped being human myself. Your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the massive array. No, no. Stop, Charity. No. I changed my mind. The Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body. And then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished. Peace free. Mind is never free. Crispy critters! and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. I'm not laying a finger on Sechenov. I'm out. I've had enough of this game. What the hell are you? Are you some scared little bitch? You're making a mistake, Major! Head to Chalamet now! If you're so worried about your righteous vengeance, you can go there yourselves. This is my decision, not yours. I'm not helping Sechenov anymore. I've done enough harm. But I'm not playing executioner for a member of the Academy, a hero of the Soviet Union, and a scientific genius. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He is just using you! Is that you. so? Then why aren't I in that limbo, huh? Why aren't you dead? The wizard isn't doing a good job from behind his curtain. By the way, Cherton, I was thinking... Yes? You fucked up! This fucking Vosshot polymer extension in my head, it was your invention! You tried to use people long before Collective came into being. Maybe Sechenov wants to knock the bullshit out of people's heads by crushing their spirit, but he isn't turning people into monsters just like me! Or he'd just use Vosshot instead of the Thought Controller and the shots! You're making a mistake! <clears throat> Stop squirming, you asshole! <sighs> 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 
There. Ah, that's better. Security footage shows Major P3 exiting facility 3826 and fleeing. His destination remains unknown. Major P3 did not provide any information about his destination, but Dr. Sechenov views this infraction as insignificant. Near the exit used by Major P3, a camera recorded an unidentified object made of black polymer. Its design is unknown. Furthermore, due to its small size, the polymer object in question could not be further analyzed in the footage.